Hey everybody. <clears throat> uh, so this is my PB Herman costume. Uh, and I modified it this year. Uh, last year I ended up just going like this. And uh, I actually won a prize, like first prize at, a, at an event. Anyways, it's a pretty simple costume, believe it or not. And uh, this uh, jacket was a thrift store find. The shoes were a thrift store find. Um, originally, these are brown, like a brown leather uh, loafer. And then I used uh, probably about five coats of uh, a paint called Angelus leather paint. And just don't use anything else other than that because you're going to have a bad time or a hard time uh, painting, painting leather. <clears throat> so yeah, it's called Angelus Leather Paint. And then, uh, oh yeah, these tassels here. They were um, just some scrap pieces of vinyl that I had, and I painted those as well. And uh, there's some YouTube links or videos that teach you how to make tassels. And uh, anyways, I did modify this suit with the uh, pull cord. <clears throat> so I'm talking Pee Wee. <laughs> and uh, I'll demonstrate it right now. Now, I don't sound anything like Pee Wee Herman. So I ended up uh, getting this soundboard thing and somehow I gotta figure out how to get it to play different uh, voices uh, every time. Anyway, so I'll show you how I made this and uh, you can do the same thing or uh, like if you're gonna be Woody or something from Toy Story then that'll come in handy too. So I'll show you how I made it. All right, so this ring, um, hopefully you can find a, a large plastic ring from like a maybe a ring toss game or something. Um, I ended up, I know how to make uh, like silicone molds. So I molded this out of uh, liquid plastic or liquid resin and that was the result, so that came out really well. Um, and then if you can go to a fabric store and come up with uh, some kind of crimping uh, or like a way to crimp eyelets, like a large eyelet rather than like a shoe, shoe uh, string size, um, then that would be best. However, what I ended up using here is uh, these are countersunk washers. I'll zoom in on that real close. So that's just like a washer that you would put a screw through. And then uh, on the other side was a, um, I think the reverse side of the washer so that they fit together. And then, oops, there we go. So I had to take apart the, um, uh, sorry, the liner on the inside of my fabric just so I could get at that. And then I glued that in place as well. So um, it's going to have, if you, if you go the washer route, then it's going to have some rough edges on the inside. So you got to take a, uh, like a Dremel tool and smooth that out quite a bit with a file on there. <clears throat> anyway, so this string comes all the way down. And on the inside of my jacket, there's a really large weight here. I got a hole inside the pocket here, so...
try and do this with one hand. I'll pull that out and show it to you. All right. <clears throat> there we go. So that's a pretty heavy weight. Um, a friend of mine ended up uh, getting this for me because he works in a steel shop. And uh, he, he was, I was going to use it for a different project and never ended up using it. But um, like it's, it's long like this and it's got quite a, quite a bit of weight to it. So that's going to offset the, uh, the ring. So what happens is when I'm wearing it, this just rides up on the inside of the, between the, the fabric. So between the liner and the jacket on the outside. And because the liner is really smooth and it's got a fairly smooth ride all the way up and down. And then uh, my shoulder just acts as the, as the fulcrum point. So it just, you pull on that cord, the weight lifts up, and then as soon as you let go of the cord, then the weight drops back down. <clears throat> so that's how I ended up making this. And uh, yeah, if you can find something similar, and uh, you know, have a have a look to see if there's a way to make make um, eyelets, kind of like uh, those shower curtain eyelets. So ones that are a little bit bigger, and then uh, yeah, that would work probably a little bit better than what I ended up using. But I like this because uh, it's probably about a good scale size compared to the toy. Um, and then I was thinking of, for the audio, of having some kind of reed switch. So that as soon as that weight pulls away, then the, uh, the electronics start to talk. <clears throat> and he says, are you trying to drive me crazy? Stuff like that. <clears throat> um, so yeah, let me know what you think of my, my, uh, TV costume. And, you know, if you try it, then uh, good luck. And like I said, you know, it could work for Woody as well. So please like and subscribe and happy Halloween.